Well, I got my campfire going out here. I'm doing a little solo camp uh, back here on my property. And uh, <clears throat> I just finished reading a book. Uh, this is called Hunting Apes in America, My Life as a Bigfoot Hunter. And this is by a gentleman named Jerry Heston. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his, right, his last name right. Um, I met Jerry uh, for the first time about 20 years ago at the Texas Bigfoot Conference in Jefferson, Texas. He actually, and that was the first uh, Bigfoot Conference they had down there, it was 2001, and, and Jerry, he was one of the guys that helped organize that. And uh, I ran into him a, a couple of weeks ago at Colgate at the, the Boggy Bottoms, or Soggy Bottoms Bigfoot Conference they had there. He spoke at it and had some of his books for sale. And I, and I bought one of his books and I just finished it. And um, I tell you what, I'll just I'll say this. If you are interested in Bigfoot sightings in this uh, area of uh, southeast Oklahoma, northwest, I mean, northeast Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and this area, this book is a must have. Very well written. Um, like I say, I, I just finished it. Uh, yesterday and um, very impressed uh, he talks about um, uh, some of the cases that I actually uh, worked on and in some of the areas uh, he sp uh, talks a little bit about the casino footage which he didn't see it himself but he he wrote about what he uh, knew about it I those of y'all that know me know that I was one of the very few uh, people outside of that particular tribe that saw that uh, footage of the scene uh, from that casino uh, surveillance camera firsthand and, and and Jerry writes a little bit about that he also writes a little bit about a uh, uh, Bigfoot sightings and stuff that happened in Atoka County which is practically my backyard so that's of interest to me uh, he wrote about a oh uh, an area that they a group that he works with uh, called the North American Wood Ape Conservancy, and back in the day it was the TBRC, uh, Texas Bigfoot uh, Research Group, um, and he worked with them as well. And Area X is an area down in southeast Oklahoma that is very, very remote. I've been to it uh, several times myself, keeping that location a secret out of respect for, for Jerry and those guys that are still uh, uh, doing research in that area. And I tell you, when Jerry writes about these areas uh, that he's been to and the things that he's seen and heard in these areas, the people he's talked to, he writes very well. You almost feel like you're there. And uh, having been into Area X myself in the past, he's talking about the lay of the land and, and some of the cabins and things that were down there. And I almost felt like I was there again. So he did a, did a very good, very good job there. Um, and anyway, like I say, I, I highly recommend this book. It has a lot of sighting reports in it. It has a lot of his personal views on things. Um, those of you that's followed my channel, I don't refer to uh, uh, Bigfoot or Sasquatch as an ape. That's, that's not my particular view. Uh, Jerry, on the other hand, he uh, uh, refers to them as wood apes, which is, is another point of view, which... Uh, you know, hey, we're all we're all looking at this same mystery, so all these views are welcome, definitely. And you know, Jerry and I, we had a, we had a good visit at the Bigfoot conference before, and, uh, and I bought this. But you know, we was talking about the uh, Bigfoot conference down in Jefferson, Texas, where I where I first met Jerry. Uh, that that was interesting. I got to meet a couple of uh, very interesting people that are sadly passed away. I got to meet and visit with Dr. John Bendernagel, which is a, a he was a wildlife biologist from British Columbia, and he actually drove all the way from British Columbia, Canada, all the way down to Jefferson, Texas. So he didn't he didn't fly. He drove. He said he just made a wildlife uh, uh, outing about it, and he you know documented wildlife and stuff on his way. Also at that uh, conference, I got to meet Smoky Crabtree, uh, who's famous for the the uh, legend of the Falk monster. So anyway, but this book should be in everybody's collection. If you're interested, especially if you're interested in uh, Bigfoot uh, down in this part of the country in the south, 
this is a must have. Um, I bought it, I read it, and I'm probably going to read it again. There's some good pictures in it too of footprints that were cast and just of the terrain and, and stuff. So anyway, like I said, highly recommend this book and Jerry, good job. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description here uh, to where if you would like to purchase that book it'll it'll link you over to uh, to where you can but like i say jerry did a great job on this and i highly recommend uh, this book to anybody that's interested in this subject especially in this part of the country